And it's story time. Okay, check it out. I've been getting a lot of requests. Basically, uh, about Food for Less, right? You guys are trying to join Food for Less. You guys want to know what's the hiring process. You guys want to know um, basically how it is, how is it to get into Food for Less and what are the requirements and how do they start you off? Basically, when you enter Food for Less, let me lower it down. Basically, when you want to enter Food for Less, right? Um, everybody enters Food for Less as, uh, how can I say? Everybody enters Food for Less from the bottom. No matter what experience you have, you enter from the bottom. The bottom is, you can apply for a merchandising position, a nighttime stalker, but they wouldn't give you that in that position. They're, they're not going to give it to you no matter what. They're going to make you basically push carts and they'll promote you. They, they, they know what you want to do. Okay. Um, for example, me. I went in wanted, wanting to work in produce. Boom. Okay. The Food for Less, they got in contact with me. They told me they wanted me to go in for an interview. I went in for an interview. Um... And yeah, basically when I went in for the interview, it was pretty simple, easy, simple, like, you know, very chill um, interview. Uh, what, what else can I say? Basically, okay, you enter, right? Well, the food for less that I went to was the one in, uh, I don't know, you guys could be anywhere in, anywhere in the world. I'm doing this video specifically for here in California. Uh, I went into the one right here in Maywood. It's on Slauson and Atlantic. Uh, I went in. Basically, I didn't even go dress professionally or anything. They just told me wear, you know, go casual. So I went in with some jeans, with a nice shirt. I went in with a hat. Um, you know, I went in. I just brought my resume. Boom. Brought my resume in. Um, asked in the front registers. And I told them I was there for an interview. They told me to wait a, uh, a couple seconds for it so they could call the manager. And, okay, I waited. I stepped to the side. I waited. And, yeah, it didn't even take, what, five minutes. And after, I, I, I remember the guy who hired me was Rafael. Pretty cool guy. Um, Rafael, he, um, he got in contact with me. We went upstairs. You know, he took me to the little office. And... It was a straightforward thing, you know. He was from the army, so it was pretty cool. He, well, he is pretty cool. He was from the army, and um, he gave me a little bit of his background. I gave him a little bit of my background, and it was just chitter chatting, you know. It wasn't really like a, like a, oh my god, like a interview. Like you have to be nervous about. It was just a chill interview, and um, yeah, he was pretty cool. Offered me the job right there on the spot. He had called. Basically, he had called for. For me to go get a drug test, but here in California now they're not doing drug tests. Well, only for food for less. I don't know about other other jobs, but I know food for less. They did not drug test me, and he told me if I was willing to start from the bottom. I was like, okay. He first told me, what position are you applying for? I said merchandising position. He said, do you have merchandising experience? I said, yes, I do. So um, he was like, you know, you have to start from the bottom to work your way to the top. Right now, everybody starts off where they want to. I'm all like, okay, and what's the bottom? He's like, pushing carts. I said, pushing carts? He's like, yeah, everybody starts off pushing carts and they work their way up. I was like, uh, okay. He's like, are you willing to push some, some carts? I'm all like, yeah. I mean, if that's what it takes for me to get, you know, into the merchandising position, I'll do it. So, um, yeah, I went in. I remember they just ran my background. It took like about two, three days. The next following week, I was already working. I was like, oh, crap. So I went to go push carts for like two months. I didn't like that shit. It was fucking hot. And people, they'll leave the carts anywhere, man. Sometimes the carts were locked that they couldn't cross a certain uh, line. So I really hated it. But um, long story short, yeah, it's not hard to get into um, Food for Less, man. It's actually easy. Just apply online. Uh, I think it was Kroger's. Kroger's dot careers, I think it was. Yeah, that's what it was. Kroger dot careers, and um, pretty simple. Like I'm telling you guys, 
You guys are going to play for a cashier. You're not going to get that position, man. You're going to start from pushing carts and you're going to work your way up. Basically, going to get a... What is it? You're going to be advancing. When there's like an open position, they're going to tell you, hey, do you want to take this position? Yes or no? Or you could just stay pushing carts until you find the right position for you. And they'll test you out in that position. And they see that you're good at it, they'll get you. Boom. But, uh... Yeah, and after a lot of people are like, oh, how's the interview process? Well, for me, it was easy. I'm telling you guys, just go in and, uh, you know, stay calm, you know. Don't don't try to lie, bullshit, you know. Just keep it simple and keep it 100 with, with the people who are you, you're interviewing with. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to get caught up in your own lie. So, you know. And, uh, yeah, like I'm telling you guys, there was no drug test. They just had to run my background. That was no, um, no criminal. I didn't have no criminal history. And the following week, the following week, I was already working. Um, the pay was it wasn't that good. It was like about fourteen bucks. It's not that good. But I mean, you know, you want to you want to build a career somewhere, build it at, at, at Food for Less. It's not a bad career. I've seen people at Food for Less been working there 15, 20, 20 years as a cashier, and it, you know they've seen me since when I was a little kid. And I still go shopping at the same Food for Less that my mom used to take me when I was little. So they're like, oh, my God, this is you. I'm like, yeah. They're like, now you have kids. I'm like, yeah. But um, hope I didn't confuse anybody. If you guys have any questions, you know, comment down below. Um, yeah, like I'm telling you guys, simple. And if you guys have any other questions, like, oh, how can I do it to get into this specific job? If I've worked there, if I, if I have, um, if I personally got in, I'll let you guys know. Um, like right now, I can't work. You know, I'm just right here chilling at the park. I can't work due to my back injury. Can't do anything. I can't even walk. Like, I was trying to make vlogs at knots because I have the season pass. But I walk a little bit, man, and my back gives up, man. Sucks having a sciatic nerve and, uh, you know, herniated disc. Not the business. Don't get don't get injured at, at your job, man, because they don't give a shit about you. You know? Um, like I said, like and subscribe. And once we hit that thousand, man, I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna give you guys a family four pack to Disneyland, family four pack to Universal, or wherever you guys want the family four pack, I'll get it for you guys, man. But uh, till next time, peace.